I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. Oh my god, that was so long ago! That was like, when did I record that? I think that was in March? Had to be in March or something, or maybe even April, man. That's weird, it's so long ago. Natsuki grabbed a whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it! As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. Yeah, I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back trying to in 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 inch my finger toward the ball. Don't maybe beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Natsuki tugs uh, with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glop of icing on Natsuki's cheek. <laughs> she tries to reach it with her- Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> she tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez, you know what? Take this. Natsuki inst instead of instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. <laughs> I'm, I, I I get uncomfortable every time I see this. <laughs> Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine, I'm sorry for calling you gross. You don't... You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. <laughs> do I want to read this? I take Datsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. W what? Did you just seriously just... Uh... Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. J Joseph... You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me? Just like that. How did the mood turn to this so quickly? But that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute! I feel the same way as you, so... <laughs> Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki... Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding onto me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths, breaths, Joe, breaths against me. <laughs> I've felt it for a while now. <clears throat> Natsuki jump, suddenly jumps back. Sayori? Huh? Uh, hi, Joseph. Sayori? Just now we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Joseph. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I s I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. And see what? What are you talking about? You know, you know how much fun you were having with Natsuki and how close you got to her? It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That, that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling like this way, Joseph? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Joseph. If I wasn't here... Then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica's right about what? 
Sayori, what I said before, it's true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but... Suri looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Joseph. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Joseph? <laughs> I like you so much that I want to die. And that's how I feel. And... And... and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze uh, her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordless Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. <laughs> Sayori? I love you. Uh. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner, but spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Joseph? <laughs> Sayori, suddenly Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Joseph, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her close. You never have to let go of me again. <laughs> I love you, Joseph. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Joseph. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first day, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it's always been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's all really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Joseph. Siri gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Uh, I don't really understand what Siri means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Siri? But I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I'd want to trust you. You know, what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Oh my god, there's no music, man. I'm actually starting to shake. Like, I actually see myself shaking. Of all days, I expected this to be one where I'd walk... Be, I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori is answering her phone. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, let me not be depressed. You should take a little responsibility for her, Joseph. I mean, especially after you, your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that.